Hello there, welcome to our helpful video guide on how to install your monstrous unit of a graphics card or even your short king if you have a smaller system. Whether you're gamers like us here, a video editor, or just want to upgrade your system, installing a graphics card can significantly boost your computer's performance and your big old techie brain. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. A compatible graphics card, a screwdriver, and a hard surface such as a table or a desk. Please don't do this on the carpet, as fun as that may sound. First things first, we need to make sure your PC is completely unpowered, off and unplugged from the wall. Once you have unplugged it from the wall, leave it for around 2-3 to three minutes to let all the residual power deplete from the PC. This will protect us from damaging any of the components from any leftover power surging through the system during our little operation. Next, if you haven't already, we need to open the case. This usually involves removing a couple of screws from the front panel. Once the screws are out, carefully slide or lift the panels off. Most modern graphics cards use the PCIe x16 slot. This is the longest slot on the motherboard located at the top slot closest to the CPU. We choose this slot as it is the slot in the motherboard that receives the biggest band of data which allows your graphics card to perform like the absolute beast that it was designed to be. Before we install the graphics card, we need to remove the slot covers at the back of the case, as well as any screws holding it into place. Use your screwdriver to remove the necessary amount of covers that you'll need, as well as any screws holding it into place. The amount will vary depending on the size of your graphics card. Carefully align the graphics card with the PCIe slot we showed earlier, and gently push into place. You should hear a click when it's fully seated. If you feel some resistance, or you don't feel like it is situated properly, refrain from pushing anymore, reassess, and try again. Once you're confident it's been inserted, secure the graphics card to the case with the screws that you took out earlier. But what if you have a more powerful graphics card that requires additional power beyond what the PCIe slot can provide? You'll first need to check the power connectors on your graphics card. It will likely need one or two 6-pin or 8-pin connectors. These should be labeled GPU on the corresponding cables. Connect your GPU cables from the power supply to the graphics card. And now you're good to go. Now if you're fortunate enough to have the immense power of next-gen NVIDIA at your fingertips, you will need one of these bad boys. A 12V HP WR cable and adapter. This is a bit different from traditional power cables as it can draw an insane amount of power from your power supply. Firstly, you must locate the 12V HP WR connector on your graphics card. You will then need to use the adapter that came with your graphics card. These adapters can vary depending on the model of your GPU. These can go from two to even four connectors on the Behemoth 4090 graphics cards. These adapters take 8-pin GPU power cables and should click in via the little clips on the ends of the cables. You will hear and feel the click when you know it's fully secured. When inserting the 12V HP WHR cable, make sure it's firmly connected and pushed all the way in, as a loose connection can cause power issues. Once everything is connected, it's time to close up the case. With the case closed, simply plug your PC back in and connect the correct display cables from your monitor into the back of the graphics card. Make sure to plug your display cables directly into the graphics card and not the motherboard. And that's it, you've successfully installed a new graphics card into your PC. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe.